society call for a solidarity march to the headquarters of Pedevesa, located in the east side of Caracas. Unexpectedly, this call turns into the most important demonstration ever carried out in the history of Venezuela. Due to the enthusiasm of the crowd, at noon, the leaders of the opposition decided to go in front of the demonstration to Miraflores, the presidential palace. Two hours later, thousands of Venezuelans arrived near the presidential palace, where Chavez supporters and National Guards await for the marchers to stop the demonstration. On the other hand, once again, the president broadcasting on all radio stations and TV networks and not allowing transmitting any other piece of information assures the population that the demonstration will not reach Miraflores. During one and a half hour, Chavez controls all the media while a major confrontation takes place on the streets between Chavez supporters and opposition demonstrators. Armed forces and government supporters fired their weapons against the demonstrators. Likewise, the Metropolitan Police officers respond to the armed attacks of some pro-government groups positioned on the Jaguno Bridge, near the government palace. The official toll for this memorable day of protest is 19 dead and hundreds of injured on both pro-government and opposition factions. That same day before dusk, the high command of the military forces stops supporting Chavez and at night they ask for his resignation. A few hours later, the inspector of the National Armed Forces, General in Command Lucas Rincón, announces on television the president's resignation. Se le solicitó al señor presidente de la República la renuncia de su cargo a new government is formed and Pedro Carmona, president of Fede Cámaras, Association of Businessmen of the country, holds the presidency. During the following convulsed hours, an unconstitutional decree made by the new president causes a division of the military and a majority claims that what happened was a coup d'etat. Therefore, part of the military, along with Chavez supporters that want him back to the presidency, stops supporting Carmona and decides to bring Chavez back to power. After two days imprisoned in the military facilities, Chavez comes back to power. That early morning, the presidential tone lacks aggressiveness and Chavez calls for the unity of all Venezuelans. Hago un llamado a los dirigentes empresariales. Hago un llamado sobre todo y agarro la cruz. Hago un llamado a los dueños de los medios de comunicación. Por Dios, reflexionen, pero de una vez, que este país también es de ustedes. Yo también tengo que reflexionar muchas cosas. Si ayer los amaba, hoy los amo muchísimo más. Amor, con amor se paga. Two days later, in a press conference, Chavez asks for forgiveness to the oil industry employees that were arbitrarily fired. Y yo en el programa de radio los nombré uno por uno. 
Es, es un error. Un error y lo reconozco y pido perdón a las personas que yo nombré en ese programa. The president is also forced to comply with the demand of the military of wearing the military uniform only when the law indicates it. Meanwhile, the opposition asked for the creation of a truth commission to clarify the death and injuries of the demonstration of April 11th. On May 11th, the opposition commemorated the tragic events that occurred a month ago in the proximities of the government palace. An emotional demonstration packs the streets of Caracas. This is one of the first demonstrations that will take place not only in Caracas, but also in many other states of the country. Active organizations of the civil society, along with stronger political parties, lead the popular discontent. The opposition's demand turn more radical, asking for new elections or the resignation of the president. Due to the pressure of the opposition, Chavez asks Venezuelan to act according to the democratic system and reminds them that the constitution establishes the possibility of calling for a referendum in 2003. Aquí está previsto la posibilidad de un referéndum revocatorio a la mitad del periodo, es decir, a partir de agosto del 2003. Pro-government groups attack the constant Pacific demonstrations of the opposition repeatedly, which causes the intervention of the armed forces. During months of full of conflicts, the Bolivarian circles and some Chavez supporters attack the media and even dignitaries of the opposition. Likewise, these groups blocking the free transit and acting violently take some public spaces of Caracas. On the other hand, a group of serving officers of the military, protected by the Article 350 of the Constitution, declare themselves in civil disobedience and take the Altamira Square, located in the east side of Caracas. Some sectors of the opposition agree with this action of civil disobedience, but weeks later, the square becomes a tragic place when a criminal attack leaves several wounded and three dead. Up to now, it is unknown if the man who confessed acted alone or if it was a conspiracy. The civil disobedience proposal made by those military men is quickly abandoned because of its non-democratic viability. Having time passed, the Altamira Square turned back to be a public square. The climate of increasingly social tension demands the intervention of the Organization of American States, Dr. Cesar Gaviria, Secretary General of this organization, arrives to Venezuela and a government opposition negotiation table is created. The Coordinadora Democrática, the Democratic Coordinator, represents the opposition at this table. In the middle of many disagreements and continuous violent acts of pro-government groups, once again the CTV and Fede Cámaras call for a general stoppage that starts on December 2nd. Fijó la fecha del 2 de diciembre para ejecutar el on December 3rd, the stoppage, supposed to last 24 hours, extends and becomes an indefinite stoppage supported not only by the oil industry but also by the media, which participate actively in the crisis that the country goes through. Que el pueblo, en ejercicio soberano, continúa el paro cívico nacional. Several demonstrations take place during the stoppage in all the cities.